Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have here how to do the crochet flat circle and I'm gonna teach you, I think it's just two ways, we're gonna learn how to do it with the, starting with a magic adjustable ring and when we start with a chain ring. So there's two options to do it. It will all depend on actually the pattern, obviously. Like mostly every single time, okay? We're gonna repeat what we kind of did with the slip knot. So we are going to put the tail of the yarn over there and you're gonna create the circle. And then we take our hook and then we collect the tail loop, but through the X and then we pull. Normally, remember on the slip knot, we will pull and completely close it. We're not gonna do that this time because we need to create a ring, but we need to leave the circle over there, okay? So what we're gonna do now, we need to kind of create like a chain. So what we're going to do, for some reason, this is just closing down and it's not letting me show you what I wanna show. There we go, now it's open. So you're gonna join over you're gonna pull through and then there, as you can see, you have created the chain, okay? The first chain. And then now what we have to do is we're gonna go through here and then you kind of hold there the tail and the yarn and then you're gonna do your stitches. It's always gonna be like single crochets. So that's what we're gonna do. And you have to do through the circle as many as the pattern will say. I'm gonna try to make few. And as you can see, I'm taking both. I'm taking this ring and I'm taking the tail of the yarn with me, okay? Because that one later on has to be pulled. And if I didn't make a mistake, because I don't know what's happening to me today, it should close down, all right? So you keep going. And as you can see as well, at the same time, seems like you're hiding your tail but unfortunately you are not. Once you pull now, your tail will become bigger and bigger. So you just keep doing um, single crochets, as many as I say, as your project asks you for. I wanna make like a big circle so you can see the different. Um, if you don't know how to do the single crochet, I suggest you, you go and watch that specific video that I have only dedicated for that. But basically those are single crochets, okay? So what we're gonna do now is pull your and there and then you pull this one can you see how am i closing i'm gonna hold that in there and see if i can show you without covering it up so much with my fingers okay if i pull i'm creating the circle can you see how everything is closing down over there and i'm creating a circle and you just have to keep pulling and pulling and pulling because you're basically pulling from there and then to connect them what we're gonna do is pull as much as you can, as much as you can, as much as you can, is you're gonna come in the last one, you're gonna go through your first one, which is this one, and then you're gonna do a slip stitch. Remember the slip stitch was just like pass it through, and then that was it. And then again, you can always keep pulling with your tail until you create the circle. And then from here, we will normally go, I'm just gonna make this up so you understand a little bit. So normally a pattern will come and say, for example, chain two, and then we're gonna go to like a half double crochet. So you will normally go in that first one, do a that half double crochet, and then go to the next one and do another half double crochet. And then you create the growth of the circle. Sometimes the circle will still open it up, okay? you'll see that your center still open it up. You can always continue pulling your tail and then it will close down and just be the circle. All right, so it's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you now another way. The next one is the chain ring. Okay, uh, you are going to start same way that we always start. So we're gonna do the slip knot. Um, remember, it was putting the yarn over your fingers twice doing an X, holding it, taking your hook, picking up the back and then doing the slip knot. Now we move to the chain, right? So we're gonna chain four in this case. Okay, so one, two, three and four, okay? This again is the starting with a chain ring. What are you gonna do now is, 
you are going oh as me listen uh, you don't have to start only with four chains we can do more i can even do more for you five um six seven eight nine and ten let's try to see if we can do a big circle so you can see what we're doing so we have 10 chains okay as many as your pattern requests from you to do it this is our foundation ring okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the last chain or the first chain that is when it's your um slip knot you're gonna go inside that one straight away and you're going to do a slip stitch remember the slip stitch was like going through both of them and then there you have okay what will be the um the circle okay and then what we're gonna do now um normally it's like um you are going to double crochet inside that ring so patterns as you saw before will tell you to work on the tail in this case you're actually not gonna work on the chains you're gonna work inside the circle to make the circle even bigger so for the first round of the double crochets okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one okay then um we are going to do the um double crochets so the double crochets remember was to go in pull it you have three and then you do two and then you do two and then you're over pull it through and then through two through two and then you are kind of creating there okay the circle but this one again it's basically going to leave the circle open okay there's a way you can actually after later on stitch your um circle to close it up and also you're going to do as many stitches right now as again your pattern has says normally in this case i've done 10 stitches a normal pattern will kind of come to you and be like oh do like 20 stitches i don't even know how many i'm doing right now i'm just kind of trying to show it to you um how many they are and you can take your tail and then put it through the stitches so you're kind of hiding it already and creating a perfect circle if you're doing like a flower it will tell you to keep it as it is right now which is with the um circle open in the center and then again you will do as many as you want to or you can or things like that and we are going to close it down same way that we did before so let's say just until then you're going to come to your first one okay and what you're going to do which is the chains and then you're going to slip stitch over there and then you have created the circle over there based on chains okay but as you can see obviously the more stitches you do the bigger the circle is gonna be normally they are not gonna tell you 10 stitches or they shouldn't unless you are doing something later on in there but um yeah you can see this is the other way how everything will look like when you do it with the chains i prefer the first one with the magic ring just for the purpose of pulling the rope and be able to put it back inside if that makes any sense we're going to be doing a lot of these ones in the next few videos because we're going to be doing coasters for christmas so you're going to learn a little bit more um what do i mean with this but you see it there that's one of the techniques how to do the magic green and it's going to look really pretty and really good so thank you so much for passing by um if you like these videos please give us a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to watch the rest of the videos to be sure you're ready for what it is to come which in the next few videos we are going to learn how to directly move into projects we are going to learn how to do hats coasters granny squares and many 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 more things especially small little things for the upcoming holidays that i know a lot of you want to create some projects for family members or friends or whatever you're gonna have the opportunity but you need to know all your basics and the best way to do that is make sure you visit our playlist that is specifically with all of the videos related to uh, crochet for absolute beginners and then you can go through them practice and be ready for what it is to come in the next few days so thank you so much for passing by and i see you on the next one